Hi guys, Tom Vapes here for another review. Uh, I've had some vape mail today and it is a dripper. It's this dripper here, as you can see. It's a Trident dripper. It's um, well, it's a clone of a Trident dripper. Uh, this is from Fast Tech, um, which are fast again after the, all the Chinese holidays. Um, this is the, I think it's advertised as a, as 24 karat gold plated, I don't think it's 24 karat gold, but it was 15, just hang on a sec, was it 15, it was, no, 16, um, 16.55 it was, dollars that is. Um, I'll not tell you in pounds obviously because that depends on what the exchange rate is uh, at the time of purchase um, Yeah, so I'm going to go to close up cam. I'll show you it uh, The insides of it um, And then we'll Come back and give it a vape and then I'll probably use it for a couple of days maybe uh, put another another coil inside, another build inside and uh, do my final thoughts and any problems I've had with it over those couple of days, maybe a week or so, whatever. So we'll go to close up cam. Right then guys, sorry about this but camera's not working so I'm trying to film it off uh, my iPad. So this is it, 24 karat gold plated apparently but I think it's brass plated copper uh, center pin there drip tip that's a real tight fit um, and I've had a couple see it's uh, really tight to get it back in there um, it does go in there and I've had uh, a bit of a problem getting some other fa ordinary 510 drip tips in there, I'll show you when I go back to normal cam. So, I'll take the drip tip out and I'll just connect it onto this EVIC for now, just to take it apart. Right, so, just a bit of a wiggle. If you've got drippers, you'll know about how to do this. Now, that those rubbers there are pretty tight uh, and they do seal well. So this is the this is your base and this is the setup that um that came with it. It don't look too bad. I'm gonna try it with this setup, see what it's like. They're usually pretty useless so I'll probably just get rid of it. So you can have dual coil if you want it, if not just put a single one in there. And for this here Ooh, it's a bit tight in there, but you can. Oh, can't get it out. Just a second, guys. Have a look at that. It's well stuck in there. I've had this out already once, and it wasn't that difficult to get it out. There we go. Right, sorry, done all that off camera. Right. You're probably better just uh, lubing these up with something. So you've got, these are all your air hole sizes. One massive one there. Uh, can't remember the size of all these holes. But what you basically do is you've got two holes in this section and you just line them up. Now there's a couple that will be jeweled. Uh, I think that's one of them. No, that's not one of them. That one there? Yeah. So this third air hole lines up with that hole there on that side. Your big air hole, which I'm guessing you just use if you were in single coil, which is massive. 
um, and that single tiny hole there. Uh, yeah, so there's only one that would work, I think. Just twist it all around. Yeah, there's only one where it'll work, Joel. And it's a little bit airy for me. Uh, it's probably good for some direct lung inhales, stuff like that. Um, yeah, it works pretty well. It's good. There's a good range um, of tightness from tight to really airy. Um, so I'm going to have it on the dual air holes. I'm going to try it on that, uh, which is there. And you can actually close those off a bit if you see there. And then if you turn it round, same on the other side, they're sort of half closed off. So you can line it up so they're not fully uh, so they're not fully open. So now those air holes are both about half closed. So obviously it's down to the size of one of those holes. It's back together. Dripped it on and go to back to normal cam and we'll uh, we'll give it a go. Right guys, so um I know I said I was gonna leave it a week or so to finish off this video, but um the coil that came with it was absolutely crap as usual, so I've ripped it straight out and I've done a rebuild that's reading about um 2.2, 2.4 ohms. It's a single coil build that's all just opened up now I've taken the top off. And it's now shorting as well. What have I done there? Uh, I've just. Ah, right. That was just a bit loose. Nope, still not liking that. I've been using it all day, by the way, there we go. Been using it most of the day with the apple pine custard from healthy vape it's heavy VG mix um, and it's working pretty well um, 2.2 2 2.4 ohms been running at about six between six and seven watts so not particularly high I don't spot I don't think I don't know. I've noticed that nobody I know that vapes, not vapes similarly. Everyone uses different watches, different homage, different devices. I'm the only person that I know that likes drippers. So, anyway. So, yeah, I've done that. Single coil. So, I'm running it on the big hole right next to the coil. And I've been doing direct lung inhales, obviously, because it's so airy. I have turned it down and tried it, just normal drags. It's fine, love it, better for flavour. Um, I didn't really put enough wicking for flavour-wise. Um, but that's because I knew I was going to be doing direct lung inhales. So, I'll give it a, a quick vape now, running like this. Then I'll go through my final thoughts so as you can see it produces a lot Obviously, direct lung inhales are going to produce more. So, final thoughts on the product are love it for vapor, easy to rebuild, so simple. Um, all round, really good product. Product, I think, for the price, speed it came. It only took two weeks, which is pretty fast. Especially for fast take, normally it's three weeks you're looking at 
at roundabout. Problems with it are, I'll uh, got some drip tips here. Uh, drip tips. This one. I love this drip tip anyway, and it goes with it. So pff, I've never really bought something that comes with a drip tip and thought that another drip tip looks better. So Pro Tank Two drip tip fits in. All right. It don't look too bad. running a bit dry now because I've not put enough wick in it. Right, I've got this cheap little crappy plastic one here that came I don't know why I've got this. That doesn't fit in. Hole's not big enough. This one from what's this from? This is from K100. Don't fit in. Hole's too tight. So that's Proton 2. That fits in. Just, it's a really, really snug tight fit, but it fits in. And that's it with its proper drip tip. So, I have no understanding whatsoever of why that is the case. But it fits in there, and it fits in the Pro Tank, and it's tight as well. Nice tight fit. That one, however, doesn't fit in there, but fits in the Pro Tank. If anyone can give me an explanation as to why. Now this one, the, the one that comes with it, you've got to twist it a bit. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so that's the only, that's one issue. Other issue, it's not really an issue, but the drip well in it is not very big at all. Now it doesn't leak if you put too much in, and I haven't because I've, uh, cause I've noticed that fact straight away. Um. It eats up batteries, <laughs> but that's to do with the build. Um, and now the top section, to get the top off, to change the airflow, that is tight. I mean, it wants to be. It doesn't want to be loose and fall off, but it's difficult to get it off. Um, I've, I've put a bit of juice on it to, to keep it a bit, but it doesn't seem to make a difference. It's tight. You cannot just take the top off to move it around. You've got to take the whole thing off and you've got to shove it out but it comes out and that's just one of those things you're not going to be changing the air hole daily you're going to find the air hole that you like or if you put a dual coil in instead of a single coil or you change it the other way take a dual out and put single in then you're going to change it so it's not going to be a regular occurrence and it, those rubbers want to be tight because obviously everybody knows that they will eventually start to wear away but yeah two not three, two, three minor, minor issues that aren't going to bother the majority of the pe of people. Doesn't bother me. I just thought I'd mention them so somebody doesn't then comment saying you said this product was amazing. I can't get drip tips to fit. I can't whatever. So yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please subscribe or check out any of my other videos. So cheers. See you later.